everybody, Anne here, just sitting on my porch having coffee with all of you. And yesterday, I got some things. Now, I got the dog bed. I still have to finish those two parts, um, get them in so Betty can lay down on it. I got that from Donna. And also from Donna is this, canned brown bread. Donna sent me a case, 12 of these. And so I opened them up last night opened one of them up and I have fallen in love with this bread. She suggested putting cream cheese on it and so I did and this is what the bread looks like. It's just a little round brown bread and it's got a sweet flavor to it and mmm. Kind of like molasses -y maybe. Mmm. And with cream cheese, sorry. It is just really, really delicious bread. It's very, it's very, very moist. Um, I would classify it as a sweet bread, really. It is the most tastiest thing I've ever had. So I have 12, well, 11 cans now because I'm almost finished with one whole can. Good thing I had some cream cheese on me because that's a perfect way to eat this bread. And I could imagine toasting it and putting butter on it or honey or having it with tea. Mmm, it's mouth-watering. So thank you so much, Donna. I love my bread. I love it. It is called B&M Brick Oven Baked Brown Bread. <laughs> and it's canned, so it's shelf-stable. Yay! And I got another package. Now, this person wants to remain anonymous, but this is pretty amazing, you guys. Look. Look at this. A feeder and a waterer. Yes! I'm getting closer. I cannot wait. These are perfect. They are so cute, too. And I like this one, too, because you can hang it up so they won't knock it over. And check this out. I've had this on my wish list for a while. This is a water spigot. So I'm going to install this today, and I'm going to show it to you a little bit later. Um, I'm going to have to modify the water catchment system somehow or some way to get it up off of the ground so this will this will be able to work so this is awesome thank you so much you know who you are I love these things I needed these things so thank you so much what's the matter girl I'll tell you what Betty is acting really weird today she almost acted like she didn't want to go outside and um, when we were inside before she would go outside, and I had the screen door open, she was just sniffing around inside the tiny house, just like her nose way down to the ground. And then I let her out, and she would not go any further than the steps. And she just stopped right there and peed. And I know oftentimes dogs do that when they're nervous, or maybe if they're trying to mark their territory, but she is just acting very weird this morning very very weird so I'm looking around my porch and she's sniffing all around the porch everywhere around the porch she's sniffing and so I look down here and there's been something on this porch here move it sweetheart I don't know she's right by me she won't get away from me there are scratch marks see that one two three and they go all the way up to here and then there's more over here. These are brand new. These were not here yesterday. And they're not Betty's paws because Betty's are not that close together. Um, hers, are, hers are definitely further apart. See, they're further apart. They're not Betty's. And she doesn't scratch at this wood. So I'm wondering if we had a little critter up here on the porch last night. Another thing, last night uh, I had all my windows open and it was after dark. And all of a sudden, and I didn't hear anything, all of a sudden she just starts barking, just bah, 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 going crazy, going to all the windows. And I went and looked out the windows, and none of the motion detectors in the front of the tiny house or the side were going off. Now the one in the back could have gone off because, I mean, it's the back and I can't see it. So I'm wondering if there was like a critter coming down off of the hill, you know, over, oops, over there. From my neighbor's property and coming in 
to that side of the house, maybe, and Betty just sensed it, and she, I couldn't see anything, I couldn't even hear anything, but she knew something was out here, and she just barked, 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 so this morning, it's just weird, she, she doesn't want to leave the porch, she wants to get as close to me as possible, it's not like she's scared, she's not shaking or anything, she's just constantly sniffing, now I know dogs always sniff, they're always, like, smelling, but this is different, this is at a heightened sort of a you know, it's just weird. And her first getting off the bed the morning, she got down to the floor. She didn't seem like anything was different until she got down to the floor. And then she just kind of stopped. And then the little nose went up. And she just started smelling here and there. And she got down real low to the ground. And then she went to the door. And I let her out. And she got to the porch. And she almost didn't want to leave the porch. And just got off the steps. And that's where she peed. So... I don't know. I think we got a critter out here. Which, honestly, isn't something to laugh about because if I want chickens or other kind of livestock, I don't want raccoons out here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to reinforce that chicken coop a way lot more because an old neighbor of mine um, just lost all of his ducks to a raccoon attack. So, yeah, I need to take this seriously. So, as soon as I can, I'm going to take uh, the suggestion of many people and get some of that um, hardware cloth the, it, that's got the little squares on it that basically is what's on side, outside or inside the little wooden chicken coop. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be getting some of that and putting that all the way outside of the big wire um, fenced area, the yard area. So as soon as I get that done, I think I'll be ready for some chickens. So. Anyhow, I did a few things yesterday, and just I'm, I'm experimenting with some things. So um, we'll see if what I'm experimenting with works. One thing good about this recent rain we had is it came right after Mr. Lucas had mowed. And this time, there's a lot of this stuff that I am just going to rake up and gather. Uh, I know there's plenty of it all over the place. So... I don't know, I'm sure there's some use for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather this up and hopefully get a ton of it. Ow, I got a, I got a blister from breaking for me. I actually got quite a bit, but since I'm a baby and had to put on a Band-Aid and my pinky finger is hurting, I'm gonna take a little break, but there is so much more of it this time everywhere. And the rain just kind of sent it all down here. So I'm gonna collect it and I can use it for you know, planting, various other things. So, bonus, bonus, bonus. Here's my water catchment system version. I don't know, 252. I just got a couple cinder blocks and put it up underneath of there. And that makes it just high enough. So, if this thing gets full, see that little hole? It just goes down into this one. And I haven't put a hole on this one yet, but I, I might, you know. But this is all downhill. So if this one gets full, it'll just go into this bucket. But I wanted you to see that I got the spigot set up. So far it doesn't look like it's leaking, but I'm not convinced that it won't because this is not all the way filled up to the top. It's just filled up to about right here. Let's, let's take a look and see if I can show you. You might not be able to see very well through this mesh. Nah, you really can't, but it's, it's covering up the where the drain is, or the spigot, whatever. But, uh, yeah, here it is. I put it on this side uh, just because, well, this is the side I wanted it on. I wanted it on the opposite side to where the hole was drilled on the other one. And this thing, there we go, isn't that great? Isn't that great? Unfortunately, I did go back and noticed a little later that it has a very, very slow leak right there after the gasket by where the little threads are, but that's not going to be a real problem. The next time I drain this out, I will just get some, um, probably some plumber's tape or something. I mean, I've got some sealant that I can use too, but I think plumber's tape around that, uh, uh, that little part there after the gasket will probably do the trick, but for now I'm just going to put something up underneath of it. It fits perfectly, a gallon jug, and I'll be using gallon jugs to probably take water out of here. Um, and just collect it, because it's very, very slow. So this is going to be great. This is going to make a huge difference. So thank you, thank you, wonderful person, for giving it to me.
Okay, I'm sitting here on my porch and it smells like dog pee so bad. Betty literally stepped off this porch, off of the steps, onto that fake green grass carpet thing that I have and peed right there. And it's very strong. And it's almost like she got down there and said, this is my house. Do not cross this line. And she seems normal now. I mean, she's out there rolling around in the grass. So... Um, I gotta go finish that dog bed, get those two little last parts kind of jimmied in there somehow or the other, and, uh, see if she likes that. Um, so hopefully I'll have some good footage of that for you guys tomorrow. But today is just awesome. You know, getting that spigot and those little feeder things just made my day because <sighs> I'm just getting so much closer to being good, you know? I mean, I feel good now. I'm happy, but... Each little step that I take, you know, and, and having that spigot there, I don't know if you guys understand, but it's really going to solve a lot of problems for me, and it's going to make my life so much easier. So it's just awesome. It's a good feeling when, uh, you know, I get to take something off of my list. So anyhow, i got to go work on that dog bed. i got to go work on my garden beds, and I've got to rearrange some stuff in there. I've, I, I just need to put stuff away. Um, and find, you know, resting places for it because I've got a lot of stuff and um, I need to get it organized so it's not cluttered. Anyhow, I hope you guys all have a super great day and that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.